Hi, boys and girls. Well, we were talking about how some people live in the Arctic Circle. And here's another book, and it's called Igloos and Inuit Life. And it's written by Louise Spilsbury. I can see on here there is an igloo, and I'm pretty sure there's a light inside there because that igloo is shining very brightly. I wonder what it's like to live in an igloo rather than to live in a house. Hmm. Well, let's take a look and see what kind of information we can find out about living in an igloo. And here is a table of contents. So that definitely tells me this book is nonfiction and will probably be getting some information. Igloos are amazing houses built from just snow and ice. People called Inuits used to live in igloos. Igloos today. Most Inuits do not live in igloos anymore. Today, igloos are mainly built for fun. Warm inside. Igloos are built in places that are covered with snow and ice, but inside the igloo, it can be warm and cozy. Snow place like home. Ha 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 ha. Igloos are strong so that, and they're a dome shape so that the wind will blow over them because we learned about how those very harsh Arctic winds can be very strong. And if I'm domed or round shaped, the winds will go over me rather than slamming into the building. Build it up. People can make an igloo anywhere there is snow that is hard enough to walk on. First, people cut thick blocks of snow and they put them in a circle. Then they put more blocks on top to build up the igloo. Igloos are built with thick, strong blocks of snow. When an igloo is built, people cover it with snow to stop the wind and rain from getting inside. In the past, Inuits kept warm inside their igloos for most of the winter. To light up the igloo, Inuits made candles from seal blubber. Candles also add warmth, warm and cozy. At night, Inuits slept in sleeping bags. They were made from reindeer skins. The fur on the inside was warm and soft. And here we can see Inside their igloo, they have a cooking shelf, and they even have a fire inside, which is really amazing when you think about having a fire inside a house that is made of snow and ice, and I would have thought it would have melted. Igloo, it's a, excuse me, igloos are cozy but people still need to wear thick clothes to keep them warm inside these homes. In the past, Inuits made clothes from skins of animals such as bear and deer. Inuits wear furry jackets called parkas. Inuits made boots from seal skin. The skin is waterproof, so the boots kept out wet snow and ice. I'm warm. It does look like a very roasty, toasty parka that would keep you warm in the snow and cold. Igloo food. In places where people built igloos, it is too cold for many plants to grow. People who live here mainly eat meat. Inuits ate animals such as fish, whales, walrus and seals and they eat their meat raw. Well that's very interesting because most of the time I eat my meat cooked. Sometimes in sushi our meat is not cooked, it is raw, but for the most part we add heat 
change the temperature to make our steaks and hamburgers and meat like that taste differently and be an edible product. So it's very interesting that in the Arctic, a lot of meat is eaten raw. Inuit stored meat and fish by burying it in the ice, <gasps> kind of like your own freezer. You wouldn't even need a freezer. Just bury it right in the ice. Then they covered it with rocks to stop animals from digging it up. That's a great idea because I think an Arctic fox or an Arctic wolf or perhaps even a polar bear would think it would be an easy place to get food from just to dig it right out of the snow. When they went on long hunting trips, Inuits built igloos to sleep in. Inuits sometimes built igloos on ice that covers the sea. They made holes in the ice nearby to catch the fish swimming beneath. Hey, that's like ice fishing. Inuits fished with fishing rods made from animal bones. Great idea, because of course we learned there's not many trees up there. So using bones solved a problem of how to make a fishing rod. Inuits used kayaks to travel across water to hunt for sea animals. A kayak is a long, narrow boat. We talked about the kayaks before, how we can use them for pleasure. But we don't use them for a lot of traveling to get from place to place. When summer comes, the sun and warm weather melt the igloos. In summer, Inuits live in tents. Tents were made of seal or reindeer skin stretched over wooden frames. Ah, so that is how they made their houses in the summertime. That is a very good point. It's melting. You can see that this one is getting smaller. Inuits used the summer to collect food such as wild berries, and they stored the berries to eat in winter. I wonder if they stored them in the ice like they did with the meat. Getting around. Inuits used dogs and sleds to travel in the past. Today, they use high-speed sleds to cross the snow. Modern Inuit sleds are very fast and powerful and they are powered by a motor. Zoom! Tough dogs. Inuit sleds were pulled by husky dogs in the past. These are tough dogs that are able to survive in very cold places. We can see their thick fur and their curly tails that they put over their noses to keep their noses from freezing. Today, most Inuits live now in modern heated houses. They buy their food from shops. That's the same as us. Winters are long and cold where the Inuit people live. To pass the time, they sometimes tell stories about what Inuit life was like in the past. Although most Inuits now live in modern houses, some Inuits still build igloos when they go out on hunting trips. Oh, I'm glad they still build them. And that's the end. So my friends, what I would like you to do is think about where you live now and how you live now. And then I want you to think about the book we just read and how the Inuit people used to live in igloos and houses made of reindeer skin or seal skin. And think Hmm, form an opinion. Which way do you think would be your way, your favorite way of living? Would you like to live in an igloo in the wintertime, in a house made of skin in the summertime? Or would you rather live in a house like you have now? Which one would you prefer? Write about it in your journal to tell us which way do you think is the better way to live?